Hey everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Insurgents. I hope everybody is staying happy, healthy, and safe. On the last part, we finally returned to Halan and we started collecting Delta Pokemon. So we went through the grasslands, we went through the marsh, and we're actually going to be returning to the marsh in a little bit. On this part, we're actually going to be heading to the desert, heading to the pyramid there, as well as heading up north to the lake. But first, I actually have to return to the marsh to correct a small mistake, or a small oversight I made. So here in the marsh, there's an item that I forgot. I don't know how I forgot this item, it just kind of slipped my mind. But over here on this berry tree, next to the Tesseract spot, it's the Polyrathite. So we've actually seen Tain use Mega Polyrath, which is pretty decent. It's a lot bulkier, has better stats, of course, but it also has no guard hypnosis and no guard dynamic punch. It's pretty cool. You may also notice that I added some team members, and they're actually fully evolved, mainly because I had to head back to Torin, had to fully evolve this thing so I could teach it certain moves. So we have D Brown right here. I want to call it Dr. Brown, but he's not a doctor. I guess he just dropped out of university or something. So. I like the sprite so much. You have the middle head, it's just delighted to be there. It's really happy. You have the head on the right, it's just upset. Head on the left, it's kind of angry. So, compound eyes, I'm actually using a weird set. This isn't offensive. I mean, Delta Dodrio's offensive capabilities are kind of... Well, they're kind of okay, but not impressive. So I decided to give it Trick Room. So it's a speedy Trick Room setter, and once it sets Trick Room, you can use Baton Pass like a slow U-turn out, basically. I also have that Hypnosis and the Taunt. Kind of good things. And we have Escavalier. Again, this was evolved because I didn't want to go to Torn to evolve it for the start of this part. So I went over there. You don't have to have anything, you just have to take it to the Witch Doctor and you'll have an Escavalier. I also used one of my Dream Mist to give it simple. So, right here we have Play Rough, Gyro Ball, Sword Stance, and Super Power. If I had my way, I would actually go to Erebus City and I would give it Knock Off instead of Gyro Ball, but we can't do that yet. So this is kind of the best coverage it could possibly have. But the cool thing is, it has Sword Stance and it has Simple. So after one Sword Stance, you have plus four attack. So hopefully we get to show those off because we have a fun battle that's going to be happening pretty soon. Anyways, let's go ahead and head on down south here into the Holland Desert. So there's a bunch of trainers down here. I already cleared them out. They're gonna be a problem. So I didn't wanna deal with that. There's a Delta Ball down there. I recommend collecting those when you see them because they're kind of expensive. So our first Delta is immediately up here. Drop a safety save, encounter it. It's actually Delta Tangela. So what can I say about this thing? Well, this thing evolves the same way that a normal Tangela evolves. Basically, you teach it ancient power and level it up and you have a Tangrowth. When it evolves into Tangrowth, it's actually going to have a ground fighting type. Right now, it's just mono ground. And it also has some pretty cool abilities. It has Dry Skin as a normal ability, so that actually takes care of your water weakness. Also has Rough Skin as a hidden ability. That'd be really cool if online competitive for this thing was, for this game was still a thing. Because imagine, you could give this like a rocky helmet and you could switch it in on physical attacks and punish people with that. It's a Delta species discovered by Winkright. It lures prey towards its home in the earth before grabbing and pinning them. So we're just going to store that in our PC. And we're gonna continue on. So there's a few small junk items around here like hyper potions, things like that. They're not really that big of a deal. Over here, you're going to notice a arrow of rocks, and it's pointing to the right. Don't worry, we're going to get to that. 
Instead, we're going to come up over here, and if we pass by this rock behind it, we'll actually get the dig TM. This is actually huge, and it's really important, but we're also going to fall through this quicksand. If we fall through the quicksand, we can actually grab our rare candy. And we can easily just climb back up it. Kind of weird, but okay. So Dig is a really, really weird TM to have for late game. I'm not sure why it's late game, but it just kind of is. And it's actually really, really useful for what we're about to do next. So we need a Pokemon to have Dig. And we just got the TM, so that's convenient. I'm not using you, you can learn it. So now that we have Dig, we want to follow this arrow all the way over to this wall, and there seems to be some kind of a notch on the rock. So using Dig, we can actually tunnel through the rock, create an opening, and inside of here, we'll actually find another Delta. So drop a safety save right here. This is going to be the Delta Baneri. So Delta Baneri is a weird Pokemon. It's it's an, uh, another one of those Pokemon. And that was pretty easy. So Delta Baneri and Delta Lopunny are mono fighting types. It does have a mega evolution, and when it mega evolves, it will become a fighting psychic type. It's a Delta species discovered by Nico. It uses techniques to rob the weak, causing its parents to scold it constantly. In order to evolve it though, instead of actually raising its happiness, you actually have to lower it. Also, there's a rare candy right there. So the easiest way to do that is to just make it faint constantly. And also you can buy the herbs, which lower Pokemon's happiness as well and use those. I want to say that the herb seller is going to be in Nara Town. Also, I almost forgot this, but the TM for Snatch is literally right over here. It's not the best, but it's something. So anyways, we're going to head into the pyramid now. I'm going to drop a safety safe right out here. You know what? I think... I think I'm actually going to leave with Venusaur. I think this is just going to be another Venusaur sweep, unfortunately. I'm just thinking about it, and the battle ahead is going to be really, really bad. Plus, I forgot to actually buy the Trick Room Rock for B. Brown. So... We're just gonna sweep with Venusaur. I don't feel like putting up with this. Aha! I knew I'd find you somewhere. Yeah, unfortunately you did. It's so good to see you again, Icy. I'm glad you're doing well. It's crazy to think that you're the Augur now. I remember when we both had our first battle back in Minnetown. And now, we're out here helping with the Holland University research team. You know what? There's no better way to celebrate how far we've come than doing what we did when we first met. So bring it on, Icy. I can't wait to see how far you've come. Alright, that's fine. So she has the Aegis Slash right here, has Stance Change, has no health item, has Sword Stance, Aerial Ace, King Shield, and Sacred Sword. So no Steel move to actually mess me up and I can easily calm mind up on this thing. I mean, it can also Sword Stands up on me as well, which it probably will. But there's also the problem that if it does try to attack me, it's going to get royally messed up. Plus, it doesn't actually have anything to attack me with. Like, it has to use Aerial Ace because I'm a Quad re Resist Sacred Sword. So, that's not a good time for it. So I think this is going to be fine. Yeah, we took that pretty well, and we'll knock out the H slash. We'll get our special attack boost right here. Next up, she's going to send in Girafferig. So if this is Delta Girafferig, it's Steel Poison type. It's basically the anti Ferrymon. Has Anger Point or Stench, No Held Item, Crunch, Toxic Spikes, Nasty Plot, Sludge Bomb. Again, it's a really, really annoying Mon. It's another reason why I didn't actually feel like using a Scavalier here. But it's completely gone now. 
Next up is going to be Flygon. Levitate has the Flygon Knight, has Dracon Voice, Ancient War, Bug Buzz, and Boom Burst. So I'm just going to go ahead and train and kiss this. It does absolutely nothing to us, and we can just recover all that HP. Special attack stat is also maxed out at this point. We also have Gorgeous right here, Flower Veil, Misty Terrain, Moonblast, Little Dance, Aromatherapy. I'm just going to draw the Psychic. We have Dermanitan as well, Pure Force, No Hell's Item, Hammer Arm, Taunt, Superpower, Overheat. Get this thing out of here, out of my sight. And finally, we have Salvi. Natural Cure, No Held Item, Heal Block, Future Sight, Healing Wish, and Leaf Storm. Oh, I should have Moonblasted. I almost took it out anyways, though. So that's fine. We also have our first level 100 Pokemon. That's actually going to be useful in here for me. I guess I shouldn't really be surprised how good you are, considering, you know, the whole Giratina thing a while back. You're amazing, I see. I wish I were as great as you. Anyways, I should get going. I'm heading up north. I only went in this pyramid to get, water get the waterfall item, anyways. Good luck. Hopefully we'll see each other soon. Hopefully not. That's really, really unfortunate. I really, really wanted to show off the Delta Escavalier, and we didn't get that chance. So we're going to be exploring the pyramid. There's actually a lot of things we can find in here. Also, good news, I have a level 100 Venusaur. There is level 100 unknowns, you know, in the wild. And that will hopefully keep them from popping up. So for starters, right over here, we're going to find the Delta Miloite. Not sure if I'm saying that right. Over here is going to be the Magic Carpet, which is the Waterfall item. Pretty cool. Over here is actually going to be a wall covered in ancient symbols. So it seems to tell the story of an ancient lion goddess. And there's a stone keyboard right here. So it wants us to tell, tell the stone wall the name of the lion goddess. And the name is Tekemet? I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. I didn't look that up. Did I mistype that? There we go. I guess I did. So, if we enter that right, we'll be allowed inside of this room and we'll find this. A safety save. So it's actually Delta Riolu. I'm not... I kind of am a fan of this, I'm kind of not. So I'll just go over here, throw some Delta Balls. It's a Dark type, or at least it starts off as a Mono Dark type. It ends up being a Dark and Ground type as a Lucario, which is pretty cool. So I'm not really a fan of it because its abilities are kind of weird, as justified as a regular ability or pressure. When it Mega Evolves, it ends up with Defiant. Again, another really weird ability. I'm not too much of a fan of the dark and ground typing either. Although, it does kind of work out for Mega Lucario, Mega Delta Lucario. I like the design a lot though. I mean, Lucario itself already has a ton of Egyptian designs, or pieces of its design. I mean, it's a jackal. And then there's the fact that regular Lucario basically practices Egyptian boxing. A Delta species discovered by Ubidot, it practices sanitizing and preserving the bodies of the deceased, showing them one final form of respect. Alright, that's cool. There's still a few things that we have to actually do here in the pyramid though. So, at some point, I believe we're going to be contacted by Professor Maple. I see. Holy Pidgeot! It's me, Professor Maple gotta come out here and see this. I'm just outside the pyramid. I was stopping by the desert to check on you, and I saw the most incredible thing. Hurry. Alright, that's cool, Professor Maple. We're gonna ignore that. 
Also, if you're wondering there how to figure out the puzzles in here, you might want to take a look at the stones with the purple markings on them. You don't have to, of course, but if you're curious about how to actually get the answer and solve it, that would be how you do it. So you're going to notice there's a ladder up there. We're going to ignore it, and I actually want to head somewhere up over here. But there's the ladder down, and it should be... Actually, no, I passed it. It should be actually over here. So I always forget this. It's the Sandstorm team. This pyramid loops around, and it's kind of wonky. It's a bit of a maze. It's very easy to get disorientated in. So there's the Sandstorm team, and up here is going to be the third floor. So up here we have another puzzle. So we have these panels. Also, we have the Delta Lucario Knight. So we'll make sure to grab that. But up here we have these puzzles, and basically the answer is to click the yellow tile twice, the red tile once, and the blue tile last. And we'll have an opening here. And we'll have this. So drop another safety save. And there it is, the Delta Torchic. This thing is absolutely amazing. This thing is so, so broken. I actually recommend going for an Adamant Natured Torchic if you can. But if not, don't worry. You have access to the Delta Ditto. You can always breed this for that later. So it starts off as a mono type. It's a Delta species discovered by no-name dummy. From birth, it has the ability to give orders to other wild Pokemon and have them obey without question. So what's so good about this is that it gains the flying typing when it evolves into Blaziken. Actually, I think it has it as a Combusken as well. No, it's only Blaziken, which is really weird. But it also has Gale Wings as a hidden ability as a Blaziken, which is ridiculous. And of course, it has access to Brave Bird. So it's the same potent con combination that Talonflame has, but it has a much higher attack stat. It's like 40 base points higher than Talonflame's attack. I see. You need to see this. It's important. While you were in the pyramid, something happened here. I know, right. Understatement of the century. One of our field agents had here reported a battle between two powerful Pokemon. Only a legendary Pokemon could cause this much destruction so quickly. But there aren't very many ground or rock type legendaries. Reggie Rock doesn't have any enemies as far as we know, and I feel like we'd know if Kyogre and Groudon were here. I mean, I kind of have Groudon, so yeah, that's no must be a Delta. It must be. They said I was crazy. They said a Delta species legendary was a fantasy. An impossible dream. But I'll find one. I'll show them all. I'll show them all. Anyways, please keep me updated. Let me know if you see these mysterious Pokemon or find evidence of fighting. I'll call you. I'm going to he head up to Settlement Juliet. You might want to head north, too, when you're done here. There's a lake, a mountain, and more that way. Alright, so we talked talked to the totally not crazy professor. And we're now going to be heading up north here. Also, just a heads up, we have dives, so we could technically backtrack if we want to, and go to all the dive areas that we couldn't previously access before. However, we're in Holland right now. And there is no easy way to get back to Turin, so that's not going to happen. Anyways, up here is going to be the Holland Lake. Pretty cool place. I've taken care of a lot of the trainers here. Not all of them, of course, but that's fine. It's convenient enough for the moment. So I'm going to start by grabbing a couple of TMs. So over here is the Grass Knot TM. I don't know why that is such a late game TM, but it is. Also, we kind of want to surf up to this area. There's a snowball, 
And right about this point right here, you should get a message. And it's going to tell you that there's a rumbling noise from beneath the sea. We're going to ignore that for now. Over down here in this cove, we'll actually find a rare candy. And if we surf into the middle of this place, we'll find a TM for Rock Slide hidden on this cliff. There's also an Ultra Ball over here. So that's pretty good. Those are most of the notable items. I think there's like a wide lens somewhere. But for the most part, we're doing fairly good. So now we're going to go ahead and surf back onto the water. And if you try to leave, which is right up here, I should ex I should follow my mission from Maple and explore the lake completely above and under. That's the message that you will get if you try to leave. So unfortunately, we have to dive somewhere. And it's preferable to dive literally anywhere, like right here. And we'll be told that there's a powerful rip current in this area. And that we should try to make it out within three minutes. I'm going to be completely honest, I've never been kicked out by the Riptide, but I do know that it exists. If you were to just kind of leave your game sitting here for like three minutes, you would actually get kicked out. So instead, we're going to enter through this little area right here and surface into the underground lake. We'll immediately come to the middle and we'll see the Delta Regis and the Regis fighting for who knows what reason. I don't know, maybe it's the same plot as the first Pokemon movie. Not sure. After that, we can instead make our way over here to the right. So the bottom right corner, we'll actually enter a little room and we'll kind of get teased. You'll notice right here, there's this Pokemon on the platform right there. But you have no way of getting to it. So instead, if you exit out, and if you come to the right side, you'll actually notice there's like a really small dive spot. It might be kind of hard to see. But if we dive right there, and if we come over here and dive right over here, you'll notice that there's sort of like a light ring right here. You'll actually surface somewhere around here, and we'll be able to battle this. So this is the Delta Magby. Another really, really weird Delta Pokemon. Not exactly my favorite here. It is actually a good Pokemon when you finally end up with a Delta Magmortar, though. It becomes a Water Steel type, which pretty good typing overall. It has Mega Launcher, and it gets three different moves that you can actually boost with it. So it's another Delta species discovered by UB Dot. Though so it is a water type Pokemon, it is incapable of breathing underwater and aims to hold its breath longer each day. So it starts off as a mono water type, but it eventually ends up water steel. And if I can move over here. So we're not done with the underground lake just yet. We're going to go ahead and exit out here. So as we surface here, we're going to head in the complete opposite direction, which is over here. You'll see a rock climb spot, and if we rock climb over here, dive over here, and again we follow the path all the way over here into this other room, and surface eventually. Then we'll end up in another room, and we'll find this. This is probably my favorite. Also, on this rock is going to be the Politoedite. So, we ran into Mega Politoed way back. And over here is going to be probably one of my favorite Deltas of all time. It's Delta Dratini. So, it looks absolutely adorable as a Dratini, but eventually, this is going to turn into a Dragonite. It'll be a water electric type. And. It will eventually have Swift Swim as an ability. So it becomes probably one of the best Swift Swimmers in the game. It's got a ton of coverage, actually. And you also have to remember, Dragonite has a base 134 attack stat. Its speed isn't that amazing, but its attack stat is pretty good. 
So you hit something with like a waterfall or an aqua tail, coming off of that attack stat in the rain, it's gonna hurt. So it's actually a really, really good Pokemon. And it can even function out of the rain. It is kind of a shame though, I don't think it gets Dragon Dance, which is really, really unfortunate. So it's a Delta Species discovered by Pokenerd123. Because its body is constantly releasing electrical energy, it prefers to hide within the depths of the ocean. It's a really cool mon, and I do recommend using it. But that's not the only mon that we're going to be grabbing here, unfortunately. We're kind of done with the underwater cave for now. We will be coming back shortly in a little bit, unfortunately. The next Pokemon is actually going to be pretty simple, but the Pokemon that we're going to be grabbing after that is complicated. Like, really complicated. So, we're going to be going ahead and surfacing up here. I actually wouldn't mind if the Rip Riptide kicked me out. That'd be nice. So, we're just going to kind of surface up over here. And we're going to be surfing down over here into the bottom right corner, or the southeastern corner. Actually, we want to go a little to the right over here. You'll kind of have this zigzagged, like, dive spot right here. You'll get another message about the Riptide, that's fine. And we're going to go ahead and push these boulders aside. Have to be a little bit careful, but not too careful. Save, and... This is probably the best one out of the bunch, at least for me. I like it a lot. It's the Delta Snivy. Delta Superior ends up with a fantastic typing of Water Dragon. And not only that, its basic ability, its regular ability, is multi-scale. But if you want to take it a step further, you can get its hidden ability, which is Drizzle. It's absolutely amazing. And to add to that, you have other things, like you have Glare, you have U-Turn, you even have Quill, Calm Mind, and Dragon Dance all for setting up if you want. So it's really, really amazing. It's a Delta species discovered by Bodhi. They usually form small colonies in the midst of raging seas where they are protected from predators. I can't believe some predator would actually want this thing. That's horrible. Snivy is probably my favorite starter of all time. I've just kind of always liked it. I remember getting the Generation 5, the first black and white game while on a road trip, and I remember I started playing it in the car, and I saw Snivy, and I was just like, wow, this thing's amazing. So anyways, up here is going to be another Delta. This is kind of a chase. So we're going to see this thing. We're going to approach it, and it's going to disappear and we have to chase it to multiple locations before we can finally catch it. So that's the first location. The second one is actually going to be up over here. I think I have to go, all right, there we go. And I believe the next locations are actually going to be underwater, which is unfortunate. I don't really like this part, although it does make good use of the underwater lake. So immediately, as soon as we get down here, if we come all the way to the right, you can literally see it on my screen as I dive. And then we can just dive right back up there as soon as we scare it off. So after that, we want to sort of head down and surf towards the entrance to the settlement right over here. And we'll find it on an island right up here. So again, we can scare it off and it's going to flee. Once again, we do have to unfortunately head underwater. So I'm going to look for a dive spot. And we're going to head right underwater, right down here. So this time, I believe we actually want to head into the Undercave, which is down here. So we want to head down here, and there should be an island right over here to the right. And again, we can scare it off. And finally, we have to actually head to the surface again to encounter it one more time. So I'm just going to head to the right, hopefully find the dive spot. We're going to go ahead and head to the left this time. And we're actually going to head into the cove here. 
So in the cove, we're actually going to find it on this island, and this time it won't run away. So I'm going to drop a safety save, and it's a Delta Turtwig. Eventually, this thing will evolve into a Delta Torterra, and it'll become a water ground type, which is pretty cool. It does have water absorb, which again, it's a decent combination. It also has Swift Swim as a hidden ability, so you could also try using that. It's decent. I don't think it's amazing, personally. It does have recover though, like naturally, which is pretty cool. It's another Delta species discovered by No Name Dummy. Made from sand, the shell on its back hardens as it floats along the ocean surface. As it dives, the shell softens. So that's pretty cool. And with this, we've captured all the legendaries, or not the legendaries, the deltas. I'm so sorry. The deltas here in the Holland Lake. So with that, we can actually go ahead and surf on up here. And Maple is going to call us as we attempt to leave. Hey, I see it's me, Professor Maple. Listen, I've got some interesting news for you. First, any luck with finding those fighting Pokemon? Remember, like the ones we saw in the desert? You saw Regice fighting with a similar looking Pokemon, except it was made of water. Why? That's incredible! It must be Delta Regice! The Delta One, naturally. Of course, it must have. Deltas are so much stronger. Ah, they didn't finish. I'm sure the Delta would have won in the end, though. They're the future of Pokemon. They can't lose. And with me by their side, I will rule that future. But as I was saying, this makes it very likely that Regirock was involved in the fight in the desert. If Delta Regice was fighting its inferior form, perhaps a similar confrontation took place. The important thing, though, is that some people have sighted Registeel up north. We'd like your assistance. It's very possible that Registeel is going to confront its Delta form, too. Maybe we can trap it. Study it. Definitely do nothing malicious with it. Please come north. I'm waiting in Settlement Juliet. That's the settlement right up the mountain. Alright, so if we head over up in here, we'll be in the next settlement, and this is going to be Settlement Alpha. So I'm not going to be doing anything for this in this part, because we're actually going to be ending things here. So thank you all so much for watching. I'm sorry my voice is starting to go a little bit at the end. There's been a lot to keep up with, and I'm kind of catching a little bit of a cold right now. I can usually pump myself up with cold and flu meds, but it does wear off after some time. So I'm really sorry about that. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, hope this helps, and I will most definitely catch you all on the next one. Peace.